Okay, more on curved walls. Um, let's do another one. Let's say you become familiar with it. Um, let's make a 180 degree curved wall this time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab that str that straight wall, snap set to 50. I'm just going to drag it off outside of the floor like that, and then that straight wall, delete it completely, and then the curved wall, delete it completely, build, and come on, don't crash on me. And I'm left with the, the floor and one wall floating off the side there, out of the way. Okay. Right, let's build a 180 degree wall. I'll do it again so you just become familiar with it, right? And I'm doing this because it will lead on to something else, building a curved corridor, right? So, cylinder. Snap set to 50, bring our cylinder in, slap it right in the middle of our floor, or wherever you are positioning it on your map that you're building, right? There it is. Um, it's snapped to the floor here. In its details, let's make it um, 48 sided. Oh, come on, select 48 sided. We're going to give it a height of 400 and snap it to the floor. Yeah. Yeah. Snap to the floor. And we'll make it hollow. And this time I'm going to give it an outer radius of 800 and an inner radius of 700. So again, it's a hundred thick. Build it, and I get a circular wall. Eight hundred outer radius, seven hundred inner radius, one hundred thick, and four hundred high, sitting on the floor. Okay, now we're going to do a hundred eighty degree curve this time, from here right round to here. So I want one of these straight lines between each pair of the nodes to be on that centre line and on that centre line at the bottom. So with this selected, rotate. 11.25 degrees, rotate it round one notch like that and we've got a straight line there and a straight line there at each end of our 180 degree curve that our straight line walls can bolt onto. Right? Okay, now let's do the carving out. Modes, geometry, brush clip. All I've got to do now is go straight down the middle Oy, like that, get rid of that half, delete and we're left with a half 180 degree like that. But we've got to line these nodes up because they will not be on the line like before. Okay. Um, if we zoom in, zoom in, look. Come on, zoom in, zoom in. Right, that pair of nodes there is not on that line, and that pair of nodes there is not on that line. They have to be. So let's set the snap really low to one. Actually, I'll take the snap off completely. Right. Last see that pair of nodes. They need to be on that line. Zoom right in, as far as we can go. As far as we can go. I don't know why this square is there under the mouse all the time. I wish it wasn't. Bring this down. We've got to get this pair of nodes right on that line. Here we go. Bring it down. And we're doing this manually because I can't get it to snap to grid. Again, if anyone knows how to snap these nodes to a grid line, if they're off a grid line, tell me I've tried everything. I can't do it. So that's that pair done come down to the other side of our curve wall end, let's get this pair of nodes there's that crappy marquee selecting again oh, look at it, it's just useless I start my marquee drag here and it actually begins down there right, let's bring these in get them right on that line as near as we can Man manually like that without the ability to snap there they are that's that pair on the line so this pair is on that that line and this pair is on that line and let's go down to the bottom the other end of our 180 degree curve Whee, there it is this pair of nodes needs to be on that line this pair of nodes needs to be on that line let's lasso this pair zoom right in Whew. come on like that and I've got to put them on that line bring them up I'm having to do this manually with no snap Again, if you know how to snap these things to a grid line, for God's sake, tell me it's driving me insane. There we go, that's that pair. Let's go to the inside pair. Last see them. Bring them up, snap them to that line. Well, not snap them, but get them on that line as near as you can. Right, done. That's that. So the pair of nodes here, if we go to a snap of 50, grid of 50, so we can see 50 lines. This wall is 100 thick, so our straight line wall will come and bolt onto this 
flat surface there, our straight line will, will be 100 thick between that line and that line. This pair of nodes is on that line, this pair of nodes is on that line, and at the other side of our 180 degree curve, that pair of nodes is on that line, that pair of nodes is on that line, the width of our straight wall that will come in and meet this, right? Okay, build and a carving out bug happens. We've got to fix that. Let me save this because it's been crashing a lot lately. The carving out bug happens. We've got to fix that. So in regular geometry mode, geometry edit, right, we go in and we've got to fix that problem. So select that node, command, select that node with command held down that node and that node selected all four selected clockwise up here create build we put an end surface on that end of the wall go over here and do this uh, do the same over here select that node hold down command and working clockwise select that one that one and that one being careful not to select the actual lines they're all four selected clockwise up here create build we put an end surface on that end of the wall now the carving out problem disappears go back to regular BSP mode not geometry mode let me just save and there is our 180 degree curved wall sitting on our floor right and now we just need the straight line wall to come in and meet it so we've got that straight line wall up there sitting floating off outside of our floor there it is let's bring that in come on you get it on the lines there like that and now we just bring it in and snap it to the end of our curve wall there's the end of our curve wall on that line bring this in snap it to it bump like that and then we copy that one off for the other side alt Drag off a copy, snap it to the other end of the wall. Build, and there we have it. And these walls have picked up the texture when they were built. I believe that's because this shell, M shell brick texture here was selected in the um, in the content library here. It's highlighted in grey. Look, it's selected. So I think when you build a BSP, if a texture is selected in the in the content library here, it puts it on it automatically. But there we have it. We still have this repeating brick pattern thing going around each degree of our curve, though we need to fix that. So I'll do that on the outside. Select any one plane, go to details, select matching brush, align surface plane up, boom, it stretches the pattern right across. Lovely. There it is, nice brick pattern stretched right round our curve on the inside and the outside. Okay, lovely jubbly. Um, just gonna move the lights again. This light here, I'm gonna move that across to there so it's shining right into the inside. And um, rotate it round a bit. Like, ah! Like, So we don't have some sh so much shadow on the inside there. And then um, this light here, I'm going to bring that down, pointing exactly at the middle of this side of the wall, and rotate it round so it's facing right, a slap bang in the middle. And let's see what that does. Oh, if it's put, if it's put a shadow on the inside. Um, Uh, that's the Peter Griffin uh, where he holds his he pinches his nose uh, when Buzz Killington's around yeah well there is still some shadow on the inside but bish bash bosh there it is right okay so there is our 180 degree um, curveball okay so do you get the hang of it Whatever degree that you want of the curve, like if I wanted not a 90 or 100 degree curve, 
let's say I wanted an odd degree, uh, let's say I want my straight wall here to come in like that into my curved wall and I want the curved wall to come round to say there and end there and then another straight line wall comes off here at that angle like that then I would just remove all of the circle to this between this point and that point leaving just that bit from there to there from here to here then put a straight line wall coming into there and get another straight line wall rotate it until it's at the right angle and bring it in and bolt it to there or there whatever the degree of curve if I, you know that I want yeah okay but there's a 180 degree curve wall okay let's move on